We're checking out this 2022 Ford Super Duty for the Stanford, Connecticut EMS. This is their tour supervisor, so it's like a quick response vehicle. We have the Enforce NXT light bar in dual color. Up front, we've got four M powers in dual color in the grill. We mounted up their supplied push bumper. We took all the plow components that were originally on it and then replaced the balances and all that and cleaned everything up for them. Coming down the side, new graphics package for them. Dual color M powers on the front fender, two on the running board. We have all their antennas and stuff mounted up top. Two M powers on the top of the cap, one on the rear fender. We have our ARE cap, our DCU model. And what we did was they liked the design of what we did for the fire department, but we made some modifications to it. So we shortened this compartment up a little bit to get uh, more space back here, but they still have the ability to store equipment here and gain access to it. And then you can see the knockouts here. Uh, we actually angled and mounted their radios and stuff on the inside so they're able to use them from the back. We brought in fire tech compartment lighting in all three compartments. We have them mounted to our pin switch. Breaking news, we have shirts for sale. Link down below, get yours now. Our pin switch turns on our system through our blueprint control system, and then it also lets us utilize it as an open compartment light. You can see the graphics for the back of the vehicle. 6M powers in tricolor up top, M powers vertically on the sides, and then M powers on the back bumper, all with white override. This is the ARE cap with the barn door model. So you have the ability to open up the barn doors. We've got whiteboards on the doors for them. We have our two radios per side with our speakers cut in. they will be mounting the microphones later with them. And then we have their cabinet that we designed for them. So they have a horizontal adjustable shelf so they can tailor it for their equipment. Another compartment. And then they have two pullout drawers. These pullout drawers have lift up lids so you can store stuff underneath them and you can put stuff on top if you're gonna work like to restock a bag. This compartment is our pharmaceutical compartment. It's temperature controlled through our farm guard system and it's also insulated with our special insulation that we use. Sealed door, sealed latch. The unit's actually mounted to the side. Gives the compartment with our display here that we made a little box for. So you can see with the cabinet slid out, on the driver's side you can see the farm guard control unit. We have custom made cargo netting along with adjustable shelf and then a storage compartment uh, for other equipment. And then you can see that how the cabinet's notched to go around the pass-through compartment of the toolboxes. So the driver's side toolboxes is a mirror of the other side. And like we said before, modeled after the fire departments, but since we custom made and take welded these in house, we have the flexibility to make the changes as needed. Um, so we're able to adapt their needs and whatnot and lay everything out with them. One thing also on this side is you'll see this electronic cover here. So you can remove this cover and then you can drop down with the cabinet slid out. Um, all of our electronics are actually underneath this toolbox. So if you do have to service something, you don't have to be trying to scooch in from here. You can take this off drop the hatch down, and then you can get to the nodes and the fuse panels for the back toolboxes. So we're looking at our under seat storage compartment, which is the heart of our electronics area. Um, we have their radio chassis mounted. Uh, we've got our blueprint control system along with our fuse panels labeled and our relays. All of our electronics come here and then break out from wherever they need to go. You can program your radios easily here. You can program the blueprint control system very easily here provides a great solution for organizing and neatening up all your electronics. They do have spots for a modem that'll be installed at a later time, and then uh, additional uh, network cables that they can use at a later date if they need to. Taking a look at the cab, we have our speakers and our headliner, recess mounted with our specialized brackets to allow for serviceability. Uh, you don't have to remove the headliner or drop it down in order to service those speakers. We have our upfitter switches tied into our blueprint control system for added flexibility. 
custom console with a laptop mount for them to put their dock on at a later date. 12 volt USB. We have the pass through to the factory radio. Custom radio cutouts specific to your equipment. Our cup holder phone combo and then our inverter control is on this side. Our inverter is mounted in the bed of the truck and this is an inverter charger. So when you plug in, all the 110 outlets in the truck are energized and they also charge the battery. This is the raised padded armrest with storage in the compartment. And then we have our portable chargers mounted to the back. So we're looking at the drive response mode. Through Blueprint Link Module, we're able to see things like the transmission range, speed, anything that the vehicle's doing that you can read through the OBD2 port. We've incorporated white flash into the vehicle. Now we have our uh, headlight flashers currently on, our pattern has changed, and all this stuff is done automatically through the Blueprint control system. On the fenders, we have our custom emblems for the Stanford EMS. They light up blue, look really nice. One of our little signature add-ons to the vehicles just to kind of help brand their vehicle. Thanks for checking out this week's Build Showcase. If you have any questions about this vehicle, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to help you out with your next project.